hello hello welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorials we'll be looking at how to load data from our QGIS vector layer and then export that data into into a csv file so i have a folder here called random points and it, it contains a geo package of our vector layer so if we open our QGIS you will see these are the random points when we open our attribute table, we have the fields fit and then ID. Those are the two fields that we have in this uh, vector layer. So we will be converting this field as well as the XY field. You know, in QGIS, for some reason, the geometry field is hidden by, um, by default. Okay, so we'll be using PyQGIS to get our geometry fields attached to the fit and ID so that we can then export the fields here into CSV. So this is what we are going to get. We have our fit, ID, XY in a table format. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to import our QGIS boilerplate. We had a video that was like one of the first videos that we did on PyQGIS where we learned how to create a boilerplate so that we don't have to always write out the boilerplate whenever we, we have a, a particular project. So you can look at that video too. They'll, they'll all be down in the description below. You can find them in the channel. Um, so you're just going to type PyQGIS and then VS Code is going to give us um, the autocomplete of PyQGIS boilerplate. When I press enter, we have our boilerplate QGIS. Good. So now that we have our boilerplate QGIS, one other class that we will need for this project is the QGIS vector class, which is going to allow us to import, to load vector layer, right? So the QGIS vector layer class. Since we'll be dealing with path, we will import the path library from Python, and then we will create a, a base directory. So we've created a variable called the base directory variable. It's a path to the file, and then we have .cd, that does a current working directory. So after we've done that, the next thing we are going to be doing is we're going to load our vector layer. So as I said, we are going to be loading our vector layer. We've created a variable called layer path, so that's a path to our layer. The QGIS vector layer, we are going to input the, the, the path of the layer, and we've done that because the type of this layer path is a path we had to convert it to a string and then we've given the base name random points layer and then the provider so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the vector if the qgs vector layer we've created if it's, if it's valid or not so here we are using an if condition to say if the layer is valid then what we are what we want to do is that we, we want the path to our where do we want to save our csv file right so we are saying that in the base layer, go to a, a folder called data, and then in that same folder, create our random.csv. You should know that we, we haven't created it yet. We are, this is just meant to tell uh, our program that if we ever create the CSV, create it within this path, okay? And if the layer we, ha we, we have here is, is not valid for, some, for whatever reason, then we are just going to put invalid path so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to create a, a variable called fields the fields variable we are going to invoke the fields in our layer so the fields will be if you go back if we head back to qgis this will be the fields the column names right those are the fields good but the fields are not in a form where we, it's easy for us to work with so we have to convert it to to lists in python list is very easy to work with so in order to convert it to Python, we are going to we are going to use a, a list comprehension, right? I want to say for fields in fields from field in fields. So we are looping through the the fields, right? All the fields that we have in this uh, variable fields, and then we are we are just going to access the name of the field. That's all we need: the name of the field, right? Because this comes with other information that we don't need. We just need the name of the field. So, and then we store it in this variable. So this variable is a list containing all the name of, uh, in this field. So in this case, 
those are uh, FID and ID. Okay, so as I, as I said, um, geometry is, is, is there, but it's invisible in, in, in QGIS. Okay, so the geometry fields, there are geom X and Y fields here, but they are, vis they are invisible, right? They are hidden by default. So what we want to do is that because we want to add it to, it's an information that we need. We need uh, the, the location of the points. So we are going to manually insert X and Y field name into our field list. If we were to print the field name, good. So now we have um, we have a list of FID, ID, X, and then Y, right? So those those are going to be our field name. There might be a, an automatic way of, of of doing it, but I haven't. Um, I don't know how to do that, right? So I'm using the, the manual way of um, adding the, the field name, and then we'll generate the the coordinates, the X and Y coordinates using the PyQGIS, right? because the, the X and Y coordinates, they are there. It's just that they are, they are invisible for some reason. Okay. Nice. So after, so now we have our field names of all, uh, the, 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 the column. So that's going to be important if we want to create our, um, CSV file, right? So we, we need the column names and all that. So the next thing we're going to do is that we are now going to open the, the file, right? We're going to open the file. And I'm going to open the file in the right mood. Okay. So here we are, we are, we are using a, a content manager. So we are saying with open and then we are giving the CSV file path. Again, we've already given the file path here. So we are saying that open in the file path given above, right? In the file path above, we are going to open it in the right mood. So meaning we are, we, we want to write values into our, our CSV file, right? And then we are going to just name it as CSV. It's for convenience so that we can access uh, the, the the file using a Python. So we have CSV file. We are saying we are going to write, join the field names, right, with S with comma. Okay. So what this means is that, as we said above, this uh, uh, this is a list, right? But we want to write it into our CSV. So in order to do that, we have to convert the list into, into a string. And then we have to separate them by comma. Because CSV means comma separated values, right? So we are separating the field names by comma. If we go to our conclusion, you can see it here, right? We have fit, fit, uh, fit comma, ID, comma, X, comma, and then Y, right? So that's what we are doing. So using the join, so we are joining all the field in the field names. We are joining them together, but we are joining them together using the, the comma as a joiner. After we've done that, yeah, we are moving to the next line. Okay, we, this means move to the next line. So the, the, the next values don't are not attached to here. They move up to the next line when we are creating the, the file. So after we've done that, the next thing that we need the, the values, right? The values in our layer. So the values are going to be this. The values are going to be anything that is not the, the field name. Those are the values, all the features, all right? So we are, we are going to use layer.getFeatures to get all the features in our vector layer. So the next thing we are going to do is that we will have to loop through the features layer, the way we loop through the field um, name, the field variable. With this, as, we, I, I, as I said, we are going to loop through the features iterator. So after we loop through the features iterator, we are going to get our X and Y co coordinates. So how do we get our X and Y coordinates? So in our features class, we can access the geometry and we can access the geometry as points because this, this is a point, this is a point geometry. And so we can access it as a point and then we can access the X value and then the Y value. All right, so we have our geometry. We are saying that in our feature, give me the geometry, give me the geometry as point and then the X value. And then we do the same for the Y value. So now we have our X coordinates and we have our Y coordinates. So we are going to convert those X and Y coordinates into, into string so that it will be as easy for us to add them, add it to our CSV file. So we are saying extra 
I could have used a better name, but extra is okay. So we are going to use extra and we're going to put it into a, a list. Just like the way we did with um, the field name X and Y, right? And after we've done that, we are going to do another list comprehension. And we are saying, we are saying for field in, in fields, right? For field and fields, we are getting the, the name of the field. So with the, with the feature, right? With the feature, we are saying for each feature, give me the, the fit, the FID, give me the value of of the fit, give me the value of the ID, give me the value of X, give me the value of Y. We are accessing the value of each column given the the column name, the header. So with the values, what we are going to do is we are going to loop through our layer.fields and then whenever we get a particular field name, we are going to access the value under that field name, right? I want to put it in, into um, a list for every row. So we, we say for every row, row two, I want to say, give me um, fit of row two, which is one. Give me ID of row two, which is zero. Give me the X of row two, which is um, this coordinate. And then the Y of row two, which is that coordinate, right? So it's easier for us to access all the values under our column names using the column name itself. Okay, so that's what we've done. And after we've done that, we will extend the, the values with the x, y, with the coordinates that we've already gotten. So, as you can see here, for the first line, we just get the one zero, right? Which is, which are the fit and then the ID. And then we add the x and y coordinates that we've already gotten. We add, we attach it to that particular field and then we have our full row. And we do that to the next row. We do the same thing to the next row, the next row till the very end. So it's, it's that simple. After we've gotten our list of each rows, all we have to do is just write it into the next line of our CSV file. So here we are going to do the same thing that we did for the field names. We're going to just join them using the comma because it's a CSV is comma separated value. And then we are going to move to the next line. So after we add, we just move to the next line. Unless if we don't move to the next line, we just get them attached to each other on one row. We'll just get a lot of values on one row, and that's not what we want. We, we want every value or every list on the next row. Right, so after we've done that, and that's it. So in order to showcase that it works, I'm going to delete the initial CSV file that we had, and then we'll just delete. So after we delete it, we just we can run our for program again and then as you can see we have our random values so with this simple tutorials you have learned how to load vector layers and then you have learned how to extract the values from the vector layer onto um, a csv file that concludes our video i hope you you learned a lot i hope i, I made sense with the explanation if i didn't if there's anything that i said that wasn't that clear i would Please, you can um, hit me up in the down the comments below. I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, if if you have any other problem related to QGIS, related to PyQGIS, related to Python, you can hit me up, and then I'll I'll help. I'll be I'll be there to help you. Thank you for watching my uh, this tutorial. I hope to see you in my next video. Um, keep learning, and have a good day. Bye.